Welcome back to a new era. I have missed you. It has been way too long. It's been three weeks since I've recorded something for you. So this right here is a good feeling. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you five creative gimbal moves. You want to make sure that your gimbal is very accurately balanced because these moves can get a little dynamic. And secondly, you don't want your motors breaking on you. Also, when you try these moves out, make sure you're super firm and steady. Don't want you dropping that gimbal. And last but not least, make sure to try these out in all its entirety. And definitely, I hope this can inspire you to make your own creative gimbal moves. All right, all right, let me show you. First starter is my best gimbal move. Ready for this, ready for this? We're just gonna, and then. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, but. <laughs> okay, that deserves at least a like, a like. And if you're interested, by the way, definitely do not forget to subscribe because you know I'd love to have you, but let's actually, get you some real creative gimbal moves. So the first shot is gonna be something I call the orbit reveal, and you want your gimbal in some sort of FPV mode. I use the DJI Ronin S, and I will leave my settings in the title screen of each move for you to reference throughout the video. For the orbit reveal, you're gonna want your gimbal in underslung mode. You're gonna start really low to the ground, and what you wanna do is you wanna start orbiting or circling your subject while slowly raising your gimbal up until you reach your final composition. This shot is super awesome, super dynamic, and it works a lot better with a moving subject. Gimbal move number two is gonna be the reflection rotate with an orbit. Now that might have been a word full, but this is gonna turn out super awesome. This will work with any reflective surface, and in my case, I'm actually gonna be doing this on San Diego's beautiful beaches. But you want to make sure that your gimbal actually has some sort of 360 roll mode. If it doesn't, this is not going to work. If you want to add a little bit of creativity to this shot, start with your reflection right side up. So your camera is actually going to be upside down initially. And then just orbit around your subject and rotate that camera until it's upright for your final composition. This gimbal move is probably my favorite because reflections, overpowered. Absolutely. 100%. For this next shot, our gimbal is back to FPV mode, but we will be adding a monopod to the end of our gimbal, which by the way, I just learned that recently that my tripod can actually detach into a monopod and then you can actually stick that thing back onto a gimbal. What is this, bro? Now I have a camera tried it. <laughs> now this shot is really not that hard to execute. All you're doing is holding your gimbal by the monopod. I would suggest actually holding it as close to the gimbal as possible just for weight distribution. And you wanna be right on top of your subject, like a bird's eye view. But the trick here to make this shot not so boring is to add some sort of contrast in the composition. So in my case, I did the subject right over the cliff edge. Another example I could give you and something I want to try out very soon is doing it on the ocean shore so you could actually see the water coming in and out from underneath your subject. This next shot is called the 3D Orbit Reveal and it's actually inspired by a gimbal move I saw in Parker Walbeck's video, which I'm actually going to leave a link for you right up here. Check it out after this video. Once again, our gimbals will be in FPV mode, but the key here is that you want your settings set to the lowest sensitivities. This is because you don't want your gimbal to be reactive to all the crazy movement you're about to do. You want to start above your subject looking at a 45 degree angles down at them. Then go ahead and do a vertical orbit around them and then continue to straighten out until you hit your final composition. Now this shot will definitely take you a couple tries, but it's going to turn out absolutely awesome, I promise. And do not be afraid to get super creative with it because there's a lot of potential here. The final gimbal move is going to be the out of the car shot and you can do this from anywhere in your car. You could do this out of the window, you could do this up on your sunroof, you can even just be chilling sitting in the back of your car in the trunk. Now, the key here is to have your gimbal in whatever comfortable mode that you want, but I would highly recommend that you hold the trigger that will lock your gimbal into position because you know, we don't want your camera or your motors just giving out while you're doing this shot and suddenly it's all over the road. My favorite way personally of doing this shot is by doing it 
out the window, going into underslung mode and getting it really low and close to the ground. Cause you're gonna get parts of the car that's being driven as well as the coastline on the other side. So it just gives it, you know, a little bit of great context. Like I mentioned before, this shot works really well with the coastline, but also in traffic, downtown skyscrapers, all of that is just gonna make this shot look that much more interesting. I'm gonna leave a playlist with some more awesome camera tips and tricks for you right up here. It's been an absolute pleasure seeing you, especially since it's been quite a while. I'd love to see you definitely like and subscribe because you know we have a video every Wednesday. So until then, take care, bro.